Alrighty guys, well here it is, the Freestyle RC ZRD is done with the metal militia body that I got uh, with a wrap on it, custom made. And so I'm just showing you guys the final thing. There's no more build really coming for you because the parts that I had to do at the end were so minimal I didn't want to make a build video. But I'll quickly show you what I did uh, so you'll know what my final processes were, which was basically the drive shafts had to be installed for the centers and I had to install a receiver and uh, the body. And so the body, I'll show you how I did that. Uh, and then we'll look over all the components in the finished truck. So here's the beautiful body that I got. Uh, and I put Velcro in it, the professional grade Velcro. Um, I buy a big roll of it and it's, I don't know, 15 or 20 bucks for the big roll, but I use it so much and it, it really holds it on there. You can almost lift this heavy truck up by the Velcro. And so I do the, um, the hard or rigid side of it here because if I wash out the body it'll dry faster than uh, the fabric type side. So let's look, take a quick look at what I did here. Uh, let's actually take this off of the tripod so we can get a closer look in here. This will be easier to do. Alright so here's where you can see what I've gone ahead and done. I've taken a piece of styrene, a fairly thick piece, and I cut it to shape, drilled it out, and I used zip ties to just hold it in place. It moves a little, it's not a big deal, but then I put that uh, heavy duty Velcro professional strength on there, as well as on the front here. So that was one of the things that I did. The other thing was I had to install a receiver, which is right in here, and I went with the SR310, it's three channel basic uh, surface receiver by Spectrum because that's the uh, controller I run. Um, I've stuck my battery in here. I will note that I run 3S and so this plate here doesn't really uh, mount and hold my Venom batteries with the uh, screws as they are. I can probably back them up and still be able to use them and so that's something I have to look and see. I haven't actually tested that theory out yet. But I'm wondering if you put in really long screws so you can back them out and use with 3S here. So I will need to find that out. Uh, the other thing, like I said, was I had to do the drive shafts. And we'll show you what we did here. So these are E-Revo shafts is what I got. Uh, at least the part numbers are from my E-Revo. And actually parts from my old E-Revo uh, that I'd broken. And I just bought yoke ends here. And so that is all I needed was like the U-joint yoke. Uh, adapter to put on here and uh, the drive shaft already had one on it because these are the out drives to the tires and so one of them had kind of the yoke on it and the other one um, was the the axle coming through to mount your tire and so yeah I had to switch that out this was actually a center drive shaft for a Revo and so it already had the right ends for it uh, but I would probably just buy a kit of these. Either way, you have to cut them down in order to fit in here. Uh, so I would just buy it so you have the part already assembled and you just swap out the, uh, the one end uh, by one little kit. So uh, that was the other thing that I had to do. And uh, put the tires on. I did shugu the bead locks in place. And I think that was it. And I actually have taken it out for a quick test run to make sure it worked. And it did, so we're all good there. Uh, so let's take a, a look over the truck and I'll show you everything. Um, I've got a whole little list here <laughs> with me. So I make sure that I don't miss anything that I needed to do when I got this. So uh, I started out with having already the axles and the wheels. Uh, the axles are Freestyle RC axles. Inside of those, again, you're gonna have like the Emax uh, 3.3s or T-Max, uh, the diffs in there. And then you're gonna have the, uh, the drive shafts uh, for the, the Revo Emax as well. And so that I had to get and cut down and install in there. Um, we're running J Concepts Tribute Rims with the Firestorm tires, blue compound. And uh, these are Shapeways bead locks that I picked up to scale out this truck a little more. Uh, I did buy the Freecell RC Servo Saver, which is attached to the ProTech 150T servo in here. And so that's a high torque servo, uh, can run at higher voltage. And so I have to set up my uh, BEC to be able to run that. 
So, uh, what else are we looking at? Shocks. These are the harder thing to find. These are HPI Racing 87056 shocks that I found on Amazon, luckily. Um, and I found somebody that was selling sets of them uh, used, and I got like 10 of them from them. So, the shocks all the way around, I got eight of them. Uh, the chassis, of course, came as is. I'm running the Venom Drive Battery 35C 3S, 5,000 milliamp hour, uh, and that's hooked up to my Mamba Monster X 1/8 scale ESC, which is now getting hard to see inside there, way in the back. Um, I haven't fully finished wrapping all my cables. There you can see the X, and so that runs down. It's uh, censored down in here to our nicely hidden castle uh, motor and that is a uh, 15 12 26 50 kV four pole censored motor and I did run the sensor wires tucked nicely up under the little 3d printed motor and that comes up behind my power switch and uh, ties into their little adapter here that goes into the ESC uh, I did have to purchase the uh, Freestyle RC transmission that you see here, making sure I'm not missing anything as I'm going along. So the transmission we had to pick up, and uh, I think that's pretty much it because the links come with it, the sway bars come with the kit. I already mentioned the servo. Uh, we've talked about the battery, so uh, yeah, it it doesn't really require that many things after you get that are not freestyle RC you can pretty much outfit a lot of this truck with his components uh, for your chassis transmission axles servo saver so basically you need electronics and tires um, for it is uh, it and then the shocks of course so I guess it's 50 50 almost but there's a lot of freestyle RC items on this truck and uh, it really has a lot of power. The other thing that I did get with this truck is something I haven't tried out yet, is the Castle Bluetooth link so that I can make adjustments to the um, ESC from my iPhone to be able to program it. I'll tell you this servo feels really good, really quick, and I don't even have it running and programmed to be running at the higher voltage, so um, still just feels very powerful and very quick. Anyway guys, that's a quick look here at this. I did take my uh, Northern Nightmare body as well and I made that into like my beater body, practice body um, because I changed out the body that that was on, or the truck. So the truck is now running the custom uh, Honey Lulu Hydro Dipped out of this world uh, body on it. And so uh, that's what it's gonna run and so the Northern Nightmare is going to be able to be used on this for running on cement and all that so I don't totally eat up this metal militia body that I think looks so fantastic. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. As always, guys, so excited to have this thing done and looking so good on the bench. So thanks for tuning in for the build. We'll have some more for this coming soon. Hopefully we'll be racing it tomorrow and we'll get to see it in action. I hope you guys have some fun RC in this weekend and we'll catch you next time.